Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand a switch in network based on pass transistors for the carry out equation or the C out. This will also form the base for understanding the Manchester carry adder, which we'll see in future. Okay, let's get started. We have already seen that this switch in network for the carry out equation, or we can easily predict our carry if we know our generate, propagate or the kill signal. So we will be drawing this basic network on generate, propagate and kill signals and see whether my carry out functionality is achieved or not. On the screen, I have written my inputs A and B and I have also written generate, propagate and kill. Let's fill this. So we know that when both the inputs are zero, my kill signal is high and we also know that my generate, propagate and kill all three are mutually exclusive. That means at one point of time, only one of them can be high. So generate here is going to be zero. Propagate here is also going to be zero. When my A and B are alternating, that means A is zero and B is one or A is one and B is zero. My propagate signal is high and my generate and kill signals are zero. And we have finally seen that when my both inputs are high A and B, my carry is generated, so generate signal is 1, whereas my propagate and kill is 0. We have also seen that when generate is high, C out is equal to 1, irrespective of C in, so we don't depend on C in here. When K is equal to 1, or kill is equal to 1, my carry is killed, or C out is 0, we again don't depend on C in here. However, when my propagate is 1, my C out is equal to C in. Now we want to achieve the same functionality using pass transistors. Again, remember that the pass transistors has its own drawback. But here we are going to just assume that this is a concept and we are not going to think about the drawback of the pass transistor, whether it can pass a perfect one or a perfect zero. We will not think on that direction. We will just understand this from a conceptual point of view. Okay, so see if this makes sense to you. I am going to use NMOS pass transistors, remember that. And we know that NMOS pass transistors cannot produce a perfect one at the output. However, we are going to discard this drawback for now. Fair. Now, we are seeing that when my generate is high, my C out is high or my C out would be equal to VDD. So this is how I am going to connect my generate signal. And this is going to be my VDD and I am going to take the output from here which I will call it as C out. I know that when my K is one, so how did I get this? We know that anything which is connected as a pull up network will pull your output towards VDD. And when we want that the output to be high when generate is one, I've connected it between my output and VDD and given it a transistor and given it an input which is nothing but generate. When my K is one, my C out is zero. So again, we know that something is connected in the pull down and that is high it will pull my output towards ground now the last part when propagate is high i want my c out to be equal to c in very straightforward let's quickly understand all these cases when g is one at that point of time we have already seen that propagate and kill has to be zero so this is zero this is zero this is off this is off and this will pull my output towards VDD. So C out is equal to VDD or one, which is exactly what we wanted. Suppose my K is one, that means again, my P is zero and my G is zero. See this case. So this is off, this is off. And because this transistor is on, this will pull my output towards ground. So C out will be equal to zero. And in both these cases, I'm not depending on C in at all. And the last one, when propagate is one, that means my kill is zero and my generate is zero. See these two cases. That means this transistor is off, this transistor is off, only this transistor is on. And when this is on, there's a pass transistor, it will pass whatever is at its input to the output. So C out would be equal to C in. Again, I said that we will forget the drawback that it cannot pass a perfect one. This is just a concept. So this is just the basic principle of the switching network for this carry out equation which we will be using in the Manchester carry adder which we will see very soon. Hope you have followed this concept. We have got our 
C out with just three transistors using generate, propagate and kill and if we avoid or if we want to avoid the problem of pass transistor we can connect transmission gates everywhere but currently that's not needed because this is just a conceptual understanding. Hope you have followed, stay tuned and thank you very much.